Welcome to today's tutorial and today once again we're going to be looking at the DYSV5W MP3 player. Now I did a tutorial on this recently with the Arduino Uno and the Mega but I had a request to uh, create some code that would run with an ESP8266 so I decided to do that and the ESP32. So let's have a look at what we're building. So apologies for the awful sounds. As usual, they are sounds from a model railway. The reason I use them is they're copyright free and <coughs> I model railways. So anyway, just having a quick look at what we see in front of us. Obviously, we've got the board, uh, the MP3 player here. Got a D1 Mini. One little thing, uh, there is an external power supply here. Uh, the reason is the board requires 5 volts. Um, the D1 Mini isn't capable of producing enough power for that, neither is an ESP32, so you're going to need an external power supply. Um, basically, apart from that, the green wire is the uh, TX. Uh, the orange on the... Um, uh, ESP8266 isn't even used. The way this works is it only transmits to the board. There is this um, one wire that comes back. It's jammed in with a another uh, wire. Uh, this is the busy pin. So when the track is playing, the busy pin has a value of zero. Once the track has finished playing, the pin will go high and then you know that the track has ended. Now I've already done one video on using this with the Uno and the Mega and there is some sample code. So we're not going to go through that again today. Um, there's a little bit more detail on that. Uh, but today's video also has an accompanying page. One of the things that is available on here is the link to the technical specs sheet. The reason for this is as we start to look at the code, I didn't use all of the, uh, I haven't created all of the functions. I've left some work for you to do, but I've got enough done so that you've got the basics. Anyway, let's have a quick look at this board. So you can use sort of digital pins to control this. All I'm using is the ground, and the busy and uh, obviously VCC and ground to power the thing and then the TX. I think there is a response on the RX for certain things but I've found no need for them at all and then obviously just stick a speaker and the TF card. The pin settings are back on the uh, web page so um, it's basically one is off two is off and three is on and that's how they are set up right let's get on with the code now as always before uh, looking at the code all the pinouts are on the digital town website should you need them so let's go down and start looking at the code now in the previous tutorial i did about three or four different versions they got more complex as you went through. The code is basically the same. So all I've done for the ESP32 and for the ESP8266 is I've only done version 7 of the code. So let's take a look at that. So rather than going through all the code in detail, because you can look at the previous videos on that, the most important bits, obviously I've got the uh, Serial 2 for the ESP32 marked up. Uh, one other thing I did was change the variable type for the checksum. Uh, this is to do with the way that the high byte and the low uh, bytes are, are sort of worked out. Um, I've had to change the code a little bit. This was because ESP32, it's a 32-bit um, 
unit so I was a little bit concerned about how the high byte and the low byte were going to be worked out. Now you'll notice in some of this I left quite a lot of serial prints you can actually see how I was working through it. I've left those in so that you can sort of comment them out and have a look should you want to. Right let's get down to how it all works. So if we go to the setup pretty simple um, you start the serial you then start serial 2 at 9600 because that's what is required there is one pin the busy pin which on this sketch I set the busy pin as pin 15 you can use whichever pin you have free right playback volume these are a set of functions that I have written some of them are used in this sketch some of them are just there things like random mode is not used but I've left it in there anyway so playback volume it passes a variable of 17 volumes can be between 17 and I think it's 30 so you pass the variable and that sets the volume of the unit now all I'm doing in this is I'm I've written the code as sort of a state machine style code. The reason for this is I build model railways. This will go into a bigger project. So I like my code so that it doesn't have any sort of blocking features for anything else. So you've got this dreaded busy pin. So if the busy pin is smaller than, uh, is greater than zero, nothing's playing. At that point, uh, if the play status is smaller than one, I've got a. The reason that the play status could be more than one is I wanted a two second delay. And um, so it doesn't set the play status till two until this two second delay has gone by. You don't need that if you don't want it, but it's in there. Right, so um, if the play status is zero, and uh, it'll set the play status to one and set a check time it will then because it's now got a play status of one we're going through the cases of play status in a switch uh, again put some serial prints in there so you can see what's going on basically what it does is it plays a track number now I could have put random in here. All I've done is incremented the track. I've only got sort of four or five tracks on this particular card. So it's incrementing through them. When it gets to greater than four, it goes back to one. It all starts again. But all it's doing is giving you a demo of how it sends the track. And it uses this function play track. And play track is the bit that I spent ages sort of just sorting out. It takes the track value off the card. Now, unfortunately, with these players, you can't use the file name. But uh, yeah, so we send it a track number. It then works out some various codes and uh, works out how it's going to send the information across to the player. There's a checksum piece here, which sort of confirms that the right codes have gone across and then it calls this function called send command and send command basically sends the details of the uh, command array sends it through serial to right bang 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 off it goes and the mp3 player goes thank you very much i will play that track and that's how it works it's a very very simple sketch so let's just see it in action now the ESP 8266 version is pretty much identical I did it on a D1 mini so I only had a few pins I did put Define TX2, although I don't actually need to in this sketch. Uh, the busy pin was changed to pin 4. Again, change it to whichever you want. And then the big changes in the code are in the setup. You can just call serial 1 begin. Now, obviously, on the uh, D1 mini, there is no serial 1 rx pin 
but because you're only sending information you don't need it so this just uses the TX pin it feels a bit weird the first time you do it but whatever it works so the code basically is identical and the real changes are just in the one send command where I just change it to serial one write. apart from that all the code is exactly the same so I hope that's been useful for you and uh, if it is please you know think about clicking the like and subscribe because it really does help the channel and if you've got any more suggestions please let me know what you want bye for now